Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Zahim from Zahim Tech, and welcome back to my channel, Zahim Tech. And in this tutorial, we'll be looking at Microsoft Paint. Microsoft Paint is a software in which you, in which you can just draw stuff, like you can just draw 2D shapes, you can draw a small art, you can just use that, you can use those, um, you know, the spray paint tools, you know, that brushing tools, you can just draw a small piece of art using Microsoft Paint. So, let's begin. Let's see how to go to paint. Click on start menu and then type paint. P A I N T. And then hit the first option paint. Let me show you again. P P A I N T. And the first option will be paint. Just hit on paint. Then this will this is the workspace of paint. Okay? Now let's go through the names of the tools and then we'll be drawing a computer using all these tools. Okay, so ready? Let's go. This is called as the title bar. In the title bar, we have the close button, the restore down button, and the minimize button. And in the title bar itself, we have the name of the document you are working on, the name of the workspace, and we have here the quick access toolbar, in which we have quick uh, tools, in which you can just quickly just go through them. Like if you want to save it, you can just hit this, and it will be automatically, the dialog box, the saving dialog box will automatically be in front of you. Or you can just click on the menu bar. This is called as the menu bar. This blue thing you can see. Let me show you. This one is called as the menu bar. This blue stuff. This is called as the menu bar. In the menu bar, you can just um, click on saving and you can just save the document or you can just, you know, you can just save, print. You can just look at the properties you can exit directly you can just save open open an existing document and you can open create a new picture and i don't want to create a new picture okay anyways and this is the menu bars and this is the active tool, tool bar and this is the inactive toolbar now let's go go to first this toolbar and then we'll be going to the next toolbar okay in the menu toolbar we have the clipboard in, we, in which we have the paste, cut, copy, and this is the image toolbar, image group, in which we have selecting, and if I se hit select, you can select a object you want, a particular object, or you just want to select a small piece and want to delete it. You can use the resize button, in which you can just resize anything you want. You can even rotate an object using this. And we have the next group, the tools group, in which we have the pencil, fill tool, text tool, razor tool, and we have the color pickle tool. Let me zoom in to show you guys. Okay, so, so here are the tools. Now this is called as the pencil tool. If you hover your mouse, it will show, it will show what kind of tools it is. If I hover my mouse and if I go through that, you can see pencil. Draw free form line with a selected line width. You can just select the line width from here, from here the size option, you can just select the type, the width of the pencil. Like if I hit pencil and if I select the size, you can just select the size. Now I'll put it as one pixel, you can make it at two, three, and four. It's up to you guys. And we have the fill tool in which you can just fill anything you want with red, orange, blue, I'm just blue, control Z, Z, Z. Okay. Shortcut control that undo. Okay, we have the text tool and we have the eraser tool. You can even change the color of the eraser by selecting color 2 and selecting the type of color you want. Okay, and then the color pickle tool. You know, your the color pickle tool is in the tools group itself. Here it is. And the color picker tool is used to choose an, a color from your document. It will, like for example, if I like, let me show you. If you, um, if you draw something red, and you draw something green, and you draw something blue, sorry, you draw something blue, and you draw something purple, and you forgot what color was this, you you don't remember what kind of blue this was. Now, you can use the color pickle tool and you can now, for example, you want to draw a same, you want to draw, you want to write your name with this color, but you don't know what color you just selected for that. So use the color picker tool and you can zoom in using this tool to just zoom in so that you can just choose the color correctly. You can use the color picker tool and right in the middle you just select it and you can see the color is automatically being selected. 
Okay, so let me just zoom out. Okay, now we have zoomed out. Now, now, the next, now the next tool is the brushes tool, in which there are many types of crayons. We have the marker, we have pencil, we have, you know, airbrushes, we have calligraphy, we have normal brush. And we have, you know, this oil brushes, and we have watercolor brushes, we have airbrushes. And this, I thought this was a spray paint, but it's an airbrush. Well, it is like a spray paint. You can see it's like, you can select the size. And then it's kind of, it's, it's it looks like spray paint. Okay, the next group of tools is the shapes tool. We have, if you click on this drop down more, there are many types of shapes here. Not quite that, not quite many, but these shapes are the shapes we always really need. And if you want to draw shapes of your own, you can use the dial line tool and you can just draw a type of shape. You can use the curve tool. This, I love this curve tool. You know why? Control A, delete. Now let me show you why I like the curve tool. Now, for example, you you want to draw a rainbow, and you don't know you don't want to draw it freehand. You want to draw a nice curve. You don't know how to. You just you just select the line, make sure it's horizontal, and then you just you know the shape has still not been done. You can just you can keep your mouse pointer in the middle. And click on that you can just drag it and it will make a nice curve curvy thing oh, let me draw Nike okay okay that almost looks like Nike anyways it doesn't really look like Nike but let me draw another one okay almost Nike okay it all it almost looks like Nike okay Okay, we're done with the Nike Nike stuff. We have arrow tools. We have the arrow, which is now. Now let's make these two arrow looking at each, pointing at each other. You are bad. No, you. No, you. No. You can even fill it using the fill tool. Solid color. You can just select the type of fill you want. Okay, that's also awesome. Cool and okay. Now we have the. Outline and fill tool in which you can just choose the type of fill the type of outline I have for a default solid color and we have the colors group color palette tool group in which you can just choose You know what color tool means? The color tool is cool color tool is the background color the the color that is behind the white workspace And even if you, you can use it with the eraser also you can just if you hover your mouse over it It says click here and then select a color from the color palette this color is used with the eraser and for shape fills, so that's cool. And we have the colors here, you, you can just choose the solid color. You can just use other colors from here, you can just select a color, you can just adjust the color you want. Let me just um, select this one, you can just select it quickly and faster. You can even choose dark darkness, you can just choose the red color, you can select darker, lighter, and then you can just, you know, this is a very scary color. The red one is a scary color, okay? The black one is also a scary color, but uh, the white is a... Mm, you know, you know, white color? Through white color, you can choose many colors, you know? These colors come from white color, you know that, right? And, you know, whenever you look at colors from far away, everything will look black. Like at night also. Okay, that's not the part of the subject. Now, if you have selected the color you want, like if you want to select this lighty stuff, select this a bit lighter. This is a very light green and not that light. Let me make it a little, little darker and then, okay, that's cool. You have to click on add to custom colors and now it's getting added to this area. And now when I click on okay, the color will be added here automatically. If I select that and draw an arrow, a huge arrow, you can see the outline is the color I just selected from the color palette from here. Okay. You know guys, we are done looking through the tools. Now we just have the status, the status bar left. On the status bar, now when I move my mouse, you can see that over here the number is getting increased and decreased. Now when I place my mouse here, it's now if I place my mouse here, it says 803,205. 
but 205 pixels. So 800, now it is 851,185 pixels. So the place where it shows the location of your mouse. And this is the size of the shape. Now if I just start, in the, um, you know, if I start dragging the shapes, um, if I inc decrease the, uh, the width of the shape, and over here the number is getting decreased you can see when I decrease this width of the shape here also it's getting decreased now if I decrease it like that I decrease it more okay now it is 9 the width of this shape is 9 and the height is 103 pixels so that's also cool and then we have 2050 2050 and 874 pixels you know what that means the size of your workspace now this is the workspace now if i drag it to the dot button the um, you know the height is increasing now if i drag it to the top the height is incre uh, uh, increase decrease oh it's confusing now it's the decreasing because i'm dragging it to the top and when i drag it to the bottom it's increasing okay i got it right this time let me put it as increasing. Let me just drag it that way. Drag it that way. Okay, good. You know, do the zooming option. So, guys, we have done looking at the names of the tools. And in part two, like I'll be making another tutorial, part two. And in that tutorial, we'll be using these tools and we'll be building a computer. And we'll be drawing a, um, like a night, um, light night, um, yeah, a night city, like it's dark and it's night and we'll be using the stars and we'll use the circle as the moon. And we'll be drawing a computer and also we'll be drawing a night city. So, if you find this video helpful, please like this video. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you get my latest updates. And if you have any queries, please put them in the comment section below and I'll be always there to help you. And I'll see you guys in part 2. Bye-bye.